2019 continues to be a strong year for Nintendo, and that is now reflected by the April 2019 MPD sales, which we are going to talk about here right now. But before we get into all of these numbers, I want to ask you to please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video or you find it informative because that helps us out more than you know. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the sales data for MPD. All right, the total for video games sold was 842 million, which is up 1% from the 838 million from April of 2018. So it's good to see video games just making a ton of money. Hardware made 160 million, which is down 29% from the 225 million. Okay, so hardware is down, but we are getting into the end of the generation right switch is still selling really really well but xbox i'm presuming has slowed down ps4 still continues to sell but we know that ps5 is going to be coming at some point this is kind of what happens at the end of the generation and we are sort of at the end of the generation pc and console software 427 million which is up 15 percent from the 370 million from last year Accessories is a 256 million, which is up 5% from 243 million from last year. All right, and here is where we get into some cool stuff that is specific to Nintendo Switch. Also, shout out to Go Nintendo because they compiled this list and the MPD data is out there for everyone, but I like the way that Go Nintendo compiled it, so shout out to them. All right, Mortal Kombat 11 became the second best selling game of 2019 year to date. That is really, really important. And here's the next thing that is awesome news for Nintendo Switch. Mortal Kombat 11 was the best selling game of the month on all platforms on which it was released. And that means that MK11 was the best selling game on Switch for the month of April. That's so cool. This is what happens when you put out your game day and date and your game runs well, right? 60 FPS was really, really important. The frames per second in a fighting game, it's paramount that it runs well. And Mortal Kombat 11 being the best selling game on Switch just speaks to people wanting these games on the first day that it's available because some people will go out and get it on Switch because of the portability factor. So yeah, that's really, really awesome. MK11 is the first time a third-party published Switch game was the platform's top bestseller since Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Again, this goes to show, put out your games day and date and beautiful things can happen. Switch sales growth was offset by declines across all other hardware platforms. Again, that's what makes sense. I was talking about the generation being over for Xbox and PlayStation. Those were down and Switch doing really, really well still. But, you know, it was offset there a little bit. Switch was the best-selling hardware platform of both April as well as year-to-date across both units and dollar sales. Switch 32 gig with a neon red and neon blue Joy-Con is the best-selling individual hardware item of 2019. Okay, I always wonder, you know, which Switch sells the most. I know I have neon. I know Jake and Zach. Everybody I know got neon, but it, it makes sense. Black doesn't sell as well, but I'm sure it still does well. Okay, Amiibo Super Smash Bros. Series one character packs for the best-selling video game accessory of April. Really, really, really interesting. They get into the top 20 best-selling titles for March 2019, and the order goes Mortal Kombat 11, Days Gone, MLB, the show, Tom Clancy's The Division 2, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, that is the first Nintendo Switch game we see at number 5, uh, GTA 6, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, NBA 2K19, at number 10, we have Yoshi's Crafted World. That's cool. All right. The other 10 include Red Dead Redemption, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at number 12. Then we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Minecraft, Super Smash Bros. U Deluxe at number 15, Final Fantasy X slash 10 2 Remastered at number 16. And I'm assuming that that counts Switch sales. Uh, Breath of the Wild, number 17. Jump Force is 18. Battlefield 5 is 19. And Borderlands is 20. Seeing Borderlands there is kind of weird since it is older. But I know that, you know, it was repackaged in the 4K, the uprise. I, I get it. All right. The top 10 best-selling titles year to date in 2019 are Kingdom Hearts. That is the only thing that has sold more, to, more than Mortal Kombat 11, which that's number two. The Division 2 is number three. Anthem is number four. Resident Evil 2 is uh, number five. Smash is number six. That's, that's still really, really good considering it's on one platform and everything else is everywhere. Red Dead Redemption 2 at number seven. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, number eight. Jump Force and MLB close out the top 10. All right, now let's talk about the top 10 Switch 
titles for April 2019. Number one, Mortal Kombat. We already mentioned that. Still, fantastic to see. I love that game on Switch. That's mostly how I played it. I barely touched the PS4 version, I'll do, although I do have access to it. I played online a ton. I played the story mode on Switch. I loved it. All right. Smash Bros. Ultimate, number two. Yoshi's Crafted World is number three. I'm glad to see Yoshi's Crafted World on there. It's, you know, one of the newer games, so it should be high. But yeah, to see it number three only behind MK11 and Smash Bros. Ultimate, that's awesome. After that, we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at number four. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe at number five. Seeing those Deluxe 4 and 5 games there, that's cool. Uh, Breath of the Wild is number six. Super Mario Party still going strong at number seven. Final Fantasy X. Slash 10 to HD remaster at number 8. Hey, another third party representative here in the top 10 Switch games. Mario Odyssey is number 9. And Labo Toycon number 4. VR kit at number 10. They also mentioned the top 10 3DS games, and we'll go over those very quickly Pokemon Ultra Sun, Pokemon Ultra Moon, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, uh, Super Mario Maker, Super Smash Bros., Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. Detective Pikachu, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I'm bummed to see that that didn't do better. Um, plus Bowser's Journey, by the way. Uh, Mario Kart 7 and Super Mario 3 Dayland just close out the list there. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are your MPD numbers for the month of April. Again, just so awesome to see Mortal Kombat do well. It's great to see Switch doing as good as it's doing. And it's like the fifth month in a row now that... Nintendo Switch has the best-selling console, so hopefully we get to see that going. E3 is coming, where they will presumably announce of a bunch of more exciting things, and we will be there to cover it all for you guys. Let us know what you think in the comments below. We appreciate each and every single one of you, and we will catch you on the next one. Switch Force out.